I had an opportunity of conducting a workshop for the teachers on classroom management. This has been a problem with sometimes the junior teachers, sometimes the senior teachers. It runs across ages and across schools and grades. Now, what is it that makes the classroom management effective? Involving the children, making them do what you would want them to do in a way in which they like it. And when they do that, when they get into the task on hand, immerse themselves in the task and begin to enjoy it, what you have is a joyful classroom. All of us hope to achieve that. All of us look forward to it, but there are some other problems that we need to deal with. Let's look at them one by one. What makes the teachers deal with their children with, with threats and punishments? The reason could be multifold, but one of the reasons that I see is the lack of commitment. The teachers who are interested had to have to keep learning all the time. This reminds me of an anecdote. This particular professor was asked by the students, sir, when did you complete your graduation? When did you complete your PhD? And when did you start teaching? That was easy. The professor gave a year when he started teaching in the, in the institution. Then again, the students asked him, Professor, did you learn what you're teaching us? The professor said, no, I did not. I learned something which was very, very different from what I'm teaching today. How did you manage that? The students asked again. And he said, simple. I had to unlearn, relearn, and that's what I'm teaching you. Learn, unlearn, and relearn. I think Alvin Toffler had said that. And that is here for us to follow. And that is what we need to do. If pilots have flight plan plans, coaches have game plans, executives have business plans, then effective teachers must have a classroom management plan. But what should it contain? We discussed we brainstormed and here is a word cloud for you to see. Here is the word cloud. Go through it. I don't need to tell you anything more. Meet Maslow's hierarchy of needs before teaching Bloom's taxonomy. What I'm trying to tell you here is to have empathy, to have care, to have understanding, and should you err at all, err on the side of the child. The effectiveness of the lesson depends upon three components, preparation, delivery, and the reception. The preparation involves year plan, lesson plan, unit plan, and so on and so forth. All schools have it. Now, the delivery, even if two teachers were to have the same lesson plan, the delivery is going to be different for each of them. The reason is the body language, the content mastery, the ability to communicate and deliver, and the extent of trust and relationship that the teacher has built with the students. And the kind of stimulus variation that the teacher brings in to the table, to the classroom. These are the things that will create an impact. And if that lesson is impactful, then learning is complete. So the ki kind of concrete experiences that the teacher provides, the kind of curiosity that she arouses, these are all factors that go into making a lesson impactful. I would want you to close your eyes and think for a moment about a favorite teacher that you had when you were in school. Is it the discipline that she, 
that she maintained in the class that made you like her? Is it her content mastery? Is it her ability to communicate? Or did it also have care as an element which made her or him the favorite teacher of yours? I would like to think that it is the care which matters more than everything else that we have discussed so far. So when you, when you have the care for the child, you don't label the child. You think prevention. No child is bad. They're all good. It is the circumstances which makes them behave in a particular way. Model the behavior. Maintain your sense of humor. Don't attempt to teach over the chatter of the students who are not trying to pay attention in the class. Then you will become a howling success. This brings me to the end of the video. I would like to show two of my books which are published available on Amazon. They are dealing with pedagogy. They have several techniques. The first one has over 200 pages of different techniques. And the second one is mapped according to the NEP. What are you waiting for? Grab a copy of your own. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget. 